Welcome everyone to episode two um, in our series from combing to closet. Today's episode is going to be all about combing. We're going to take a behind the scenes look at how we actually comb and the gentle husbandry practices that we use to actually go through it. So we hope you enjoy this video of our muskox getting comb. springtime that's when the harvest happens that's typically May is the big big heavy month we'll get a little bit in April and a little bit in June but May is going to be our big focus so same routine as when we bring them in to weigh them we'll bring them in through the, through the chute into the crowd of there open up the tailgate they'll step right in we tend to do a lot of our combing right here in the stanchion we've got great access to it from both sides um, there's a tremendous amount of flexibility with this to open it up and allow us to really get in there with the animal, oftentimes with someone working on one side and someone else on the other. Um, these panels come out down here too. Um, the stalls are small enough that they're designed so that they can't turn around in there. So, but by virtue of that, it also makes it really hard to get to certain parts of the animal. So by bringing them into the stanchion here, we have great access. You have someone up here giving them snacks to make sure it's all a happy process for them. We will and then grab our hair pick, steel tooth pick, and as we start to comb, we're just going to slide the the, F, the hair pick just underneath the guard here and start pulling this kitty away from their body. When they're all ready to go, it releases easily and just kind of comes right off. It's very satisfying. You start getting a big sheet of the stuff. For some, we're still going to use the stalls. Half is going to leap forward for them around the corner. They'll come into one of these stalls like this, and they'll follow them right on the side and close the door behind them. Hi, you're such a good girl. So, see how you're combing? You like leave stuff behind? Mm -hmm. You want to get. Okay, so until, kind of you like get, until you get right down, so feel that. Mm -hmm. That's see skin. how it's yeah. See how it's not fluffy now. Mm -hmm. And then you start. Oh, you sorry. use that, and you start going and lifting it up. Okay. Right. Oh. And so then you get that that all of the kidney the whole way. combing logs. Uh, we have one from last year that has everybody's records of being combed and then we have our new one for this year. Um, we have both records uh, so we can look back and see how they did last year combing so that kind of gives us a base on if we should have one combers or two combers um, if they like being if they like having treats, if they like have some having somebody stand in front of them in the crowder um, and how long they usually stay in the crowder for. Um, some can stay up to 35 minutes, 40 minutes even, um, where others will only stay about five. Um, and all these records tell us. Um, so we just got finished doing Cheyenne. So last year, this is her last year, um, she did really good in the stanchion. So this year, so we do the date. So today is May 1st, um, we write what we did. So we combed her saddle area. Um, and then we come down here and we have both sides for them. So I did the left side, so I combed pretty much this area and we just section it off. And then uh, 
Danny combed the other side, so once she gets back, she will draw that on there for us. Um, but yes, so the body region and then temperament, she did great, so we put great. Um, she didn't eat treats, so we write that just for uh, reference. She got combed in the stanchion. And then me and Danny. And then she lasted in the shoot for about 13 minutes this time. Um, and then we will weigh the kibbu now. So we each had a bucket for each side. So all of our cone kibbutz in there. This bucket is already teared and stayed, stays on there. Um, and here we have the reading. Right now it's teared, so it's at zero and we weigh it by pounds. be very staticky. And we pick all the little pieces off our body. <laughs> and she is at 0.32. So then we take that number and we come back over here. We write it in our log uh, and then we know how much you we've combed off her this year so far so once it's been weighed and we know who it's from it can kind of all get mixed together now um, so we have these big bags uh, of kibbut we just put it in here and then on to the next muskox <laughs> much for tuning in yet again um, to the second episode of From Combing to Closet. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you missed the first episode, um, we covered herding, which goes all into how we get to the point with our musk oxen that you saw today um, that allows us to comb them. We hope you'll tune in next Friday and we'll be able to tell you all about how in the world the fiber goes from now being combed off of musk ox, but now being spun into the yarn that you can get in our shop. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs>